more pickups. I just got this pair in the mail right, right now. So I'm just going to do a live unboxing with you guys. Now, a couple videos back, I think we talked about a specific shoe that I got called the Union Guava 4s, right? And I told you guys that I was going to sell it because it's hard to wear. And I did. Like, I sold it. But a couple of days ago, I ended up picking up her brother, which are these... Oh, these are so nice. Oh my God. These are so nice, bro. I thought these were so ugly, bro. Like I saw the leaked photos of them and I was like, the tongue, first of all, is stitched down so it doesn't go up. The color blocking I thought was really ugly. My main complaint is the red and the blue. Whenever I see red and blue together, I think of Spider-Man. I think of Superman. Do you guys get what I mean? Like I am 22 years old. I cannot be wearing no Spider-Man shoes, acting childish. But contrary to everything I just said, I think these shoes are actually very beautiful. Seeing them in person, I actually think I like them even more. Yeah, so I take back all the negative complaint that i ever had okay so i couldn't really find a cool outfit but yeah essentially this is what they look like on feet i think they're a lot nicer in person right ah yeah i'm gonna need to clean my window bro this next shoe that i'm gonna show you guys is hands down my favorite in my collection hands down and i just got my hands on it like a month ago or actually two weeks ago paranoise air force one by g dragon and nike okay i had to change the lighting because that shit was not working out but if you guys don't know who g dragon is we're talking about a mega super big gigantic k-pop star in korea and i think he started his career like 10 years ago i mean we're talking about i remember being in elementary school having a myspace and some of you guys don't even know what a myspace is which is kind of embarrassing because it means that i'm getting older <laughs> But yeah, this dude used to be on my MySpace playlist. Fast forward 10 years, he's working with Nike. He had a super successful career in K-pop. And yeah, whenever I look at these shoes, it reminds me of the time where I used to be a young boy. I used to listen to K-pop, G-Dragon. My ball didn't even drop yet, man. That shit was still in my stomach or however it works. I don't even know how that works, but a very nice shoe. I actually have the black pair right here too. See? Black pair white pair i mean these are just so sick it has a black fat laces with a lily on the top or a daisy the paint that cracks to reveal like a graffiti art underneath the more you wear it the more character it has and the doper it looks in my opinion yeah and yeah this is how the air force ones fit on feet honestly i like this a lot better than just regular white air force ones because it has a lot more character I feel like I'm actually really digging like the fat laces too. I think it looks sick. Let me know which one you guys like better, the Air Force Ones or the Jordan Fours. I like, I like this one. This one's better. Yesterday I was laying in my bed, scrolling late night on Reddit, and I saw this dish that looks so good. Oh my god, doesn't it look good? Bourbon chicken. Whenever I think of bourbon chicken, I think of the times when I would just walk across the food court at the mall, and there would be like a person like handing off free samples, and I would just like get the sample, eat it. Come back get another sample eat it today. We're gonna make it this morning I went to Stapeway to buy all the ingredients and Let's try to make it by the way just in case you guys didn't know I never make any recipe like with my own brain Like I always just google the recipe and see which one works best So today we're gonna be using this recipe and just in case you guys want to try it too It's by big oven essentially we want to cut these into like bite-sized pieces something like this Once the oil is shiny like this, I think it's hot enough, right? Now for the sauce, the sauce is actually like 10 different things I didn't even know that was in there. Um, but yeah, don't clean the pan because we want all that chicken bitch, that brown chicken to be in the sauce. That way it's like more flavorful, you know what I mean? Ah, big brain. The sauce should be easy though. It's just like 10 different ingredients. Put it into the pan, let it simmer, mix it, and yeah. Crushed garlic. The recipe says he used one, but I typically just triple it. Ginger. There's no way you can say apple juice is better than orange juice. Hell no. Oh, damn. I was
was not expecting that. And yeah, we're gonna let that simmer for how long? 20 minutes. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna add in some black truffle hot sauce just because like I have it in my fridge, but I don't even use it for anything. You know what I mean? So they recommend sriracha, but we're gonna step it up a little bit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna eat this with some homemade rice, you know, family recipe. Bro, the chicken came out looking so good. I gotta put this shit on Instagram. Okay, okay. You guys see this? Are you guys seeing this? Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Very shiny, not too saucy, just how I like it. Bro, no. It's actually insane, like it's sweet. There's a kick of spice from that truffle hot sauce. And yeah, it tastes pretty much like the samples that you would get at the mall from the ladies, you know what I mean? Mmm. Okay, so right now I'm at my favorite coffee shop waiting for my coffee. And I kind of want to share this location with you guys because this is the best place ever, bro. I wish somebody had told me that this place existed. I just found out like a week ago and I started going here like, I've been here probably like three, four days. Why is it, why is my face like that? I've posted about this place a couple times on my Instagram and if you see me post pictures of like the latte art on the coffee, this is where I get it, so. It's called Hannah Coffee, by the way. I'm just waiting for my coffee and my bagel. I can't wait to get my bagel and my coffee. We're back, we're back. We're back. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I get is the salted caramel latte. Um, This is the hot version, which is crazy because I actually don't really drink hot coffee. I prefer iced coffee. And with this, you can actually get the cute little latte art on the top if you request it. Last time I got a dragon, the other time I got a bear. And this time I didn't want to request them because I imagine as a barista, you wake up at the butt crack of the morning, 6 a.m., you go to work. You're making latte, doing latte art. And latte art seems kind of hard, you know what I mean? Like if you mess up, you have to start all over. So yeah, I just didn't want to be annoying today, but usually I am though. Salted caramel latte. Mmm. Next item is their cream cheese, bacon, sun-dried tomatoes on an everything bagel. Now, mind you, I'm not even a bagel person to begin with. Like, when I go to the grocery store, I'm never buying bagels. My usual breakfast is typically, like, some instant ramen noodles. You know what I mean? But this has been my latest obsession. And as you can see, I mean, it doesn't really look that great aesthetically, but the taste is amazing. Mmm, wow. Mmm, I'm telling you that cream cheese will fill you right up, bro. Pause. So recently I've been jumping rope. I'm very surprising because some of you guys might say, You told us you hate cardio! Well, I do. But the thing is, the COVID cases in our area is like so high now that all the gyms shut down. So I really have no choice, guys. But yeah, right now I'm gonna get started with my workout. It's like three in the afternoon. A lot of you guys don't know this, but in my family, on my dad's side, like every male has heart issues. Like my grandpa, he died of heart complications. My dad had a heart attack back when I was in high school. He's alive, but he had a heart attack. And if you go down the line and do the calculations, grandpa had it, dad had it. Who's next? Huh? Me? Hey, that's not gonna happen, bro. So I'm kind of doing this out of like necessity almost. This is my fourth day jumping rope. So I haven't even been doing this for that long. So I kind of suck still. And yeah, my exercise right now is very basic. It's jump for 40 seconds, rest for 20, and then do that 20 times, so 20 minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I look fucking dead right now. 20 minutes. Eventually, I want to do like better jump rope patterns, like double unders and a whole bunch of other like complicated shit. But we're going to keep this going. Let's go drink some orange juice. To end the vlog, I want to share with you guys a story that's kind of funny to me, but I hope it gives you some type of like motivation or some type of serotonin. Two years ago when this game came out called Apex Legends, it's a first person shooter. I played this game so much, literally from nine in the morning when I woke up to nine o'clock at night. And I would take like a 30 minute break in between. And every single day I would stream on Twitch. I would get like four viewers and I was hyped. You know what I mean? And one day I saw my favorite gaming organization, 100 Thieves. Like when you talk about gaming organizations, there's only three that matters to me. 100 
100 Thieves phase and TSM, but even TSM is like, eh, not really. I saw that 100 Thieves was putting together a team for this game that I was playing. And I was like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this moment all my life. I spent hours putting together a montage, editing it, making it look epic. And I finally pulled it up. Yeah. <laughs> Why was I playing in the face mask, bro? Y'all, bro, they didn't even view it, bro. That one view is me. Bro, looking back at this video just gives me hella memories. Yo, I'm nasty, bro. Oh my, that's embarrassing. That clip was right here. You can notice it by the wall. But yeah, I ended up not making the team. Um, I was very sad, you know what I mean? Because I really thought this was my claim to fame. And I know what some of you guys might be thinking, okay? New to that is so embarrassing. Why are you telling us this? Listen, the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because in life, sometimes we want something really bad. You know what I mean? Whether it be a job position, whether it be this, that, and the third, and it doesn't happen for us. And some of you guys might think, was it not good enough? Was it something different that I could have done? And some of you guys might even give up. But the most important thing is to never give up, keep trying, keep at it because let me show you what i got in the mail today a care package from 100 thieves uh-oh why the fuck am i wearing a rainbow wig if they had accepted my application back then my whole career would have been in gaming and i would have never started cooking i would have never started posting cooking videos i would never be where i am today so i guess what i'm trying to say is things happen for a reason ah okay motivational new i like that bro i'm so stupid <laughs> anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one peace